the first question is a 65 year old uh, patient was diagnosed as a rheumatogenous retinal detachment so remember rheumatogenous retinal detachment there should be either a hole or a tear in the retina and the liquid uh, vitreous should be like a liquid okay these are predisposing conditions which of the following is least likely predisposing fact, uh, feature of it lattice degeneration is areas of retinal thinning so retina if retina is thin there can be holes so that is correct posterior detachment gives traction onto the retina can create a tear Snake tract degeneration is a precursor of uh, lattice degeneration. V's ring is a complete posterior vitreous detachment. So when the vitreous is completely uh, detached, it has very least uh, likely chance of getting retina detached. So that is the answer V's ring to this question. See, these are lattice, lattice degeneration of what? Lattice are very thin uh, retina areas which are usually present in the periphery of the retina. It can uh, become so thin the retina can have holes. Snail rat degeneration is a precursor of lattice degeneration. Posterior vitreous detachment uh, with age, uh, the vitreous uh, separates from the retina, it can create a tear. So that is also predisposing condition. But when the entire vitreous is separated, uh, it can be seen as it is uh, the strongest attachment of vitreous is ora serrata. Okay. And when it detaches from the optic disc, it remains like a a uh, ring in the vitreous everywhere there is vitreous transparent you cannot see but it has detached from the optic disc but still it is attached to the ora serrata so patient realizes it uh, like a single floater in front of his eyes so when there is complete pvd v's ring there are very less chances of getting retina detached that is the answer to the question second simple question 28 year old progressive dementia jaundice akinetic rigidity in the upper leg uh, upper uh, limbs there is jaundice, liver is uh, having effect, affection, uh, there is a basal ganglia affection, there was a ophthalmological cataract seen, what is it? This is Wilson's disease, there is brownish deposition in the cornea, cases precious ring, deposited in which layer? Very simple question, Desmond's membrane, copper deposited in Desmond membrane, that you see, it is uh, usually started at uh, 6 o'clock, 12 o'clock position and then it goes circumferentially and yes, it is reversible on treatment. This is sunflower cataract. So Wilson and Chalcosis, intraocular copper, both can cast, uh, both can cause sunflower cataract and uh, cases which you're saying. Uh, Wilson's is a better uh, answer. Important point, it is reversible and gonioscopy is the first investigation to uh, diagnose cases which you're saying because uh, termination of desmond is 12 is line. Uh, that is the first structure seen on gonioscopy. Okay, next. Ophthalmologist wants to check the fundus of a patient. Fundus is checked by what? Indirect ophthalmoscopy, fundoscopy, but the patient is myopic. What is the magnification of a indirect ophthalmoscope? I always say it is the power of eye of the patient depending on the power of the lens, condensing lens which the doctor uses. Okay. Here the magnification is given 3.2 times. Power of an eye of myopic, normal, if the power is not given for normal, you take it at 60. So 60 myopic person has more power. Why? Because the rays are converged in front of retina. So eye power is more than emetropia. So patient is 60 plus 4, 64 diopter. And you have to calculate this power of lens. Mass is good. So 64 divided by 3.2 answer will be 20 diopters is the answer. All right. Right trochlear nerve nucleus. Please remember, right trochlear nerve nucleus is present at the level of midbrain at inferior colliculus. That is correct. Trochlear nerve nucleus supplies opposite side uh, superior oblique. So, of course, if right trochlear nerve nucleus is having lesion, there will be left superior oblique palsy. That is the answer to the question. And if there is a left superior oblique palsy, if SO is having palsy, I will obviously go up. That is hyper left hypertropia. And of course, this is factual. Wichowski test is to you see hypertropia uh, is worse on uh, head tilt. For example, in left SO palsy, when the patient does left head tilt, hypertropia increases because SR will work more. That's why the patient will come to you with right head tilt. Superiors come with opposite head tilt. That's why I tell you like that. In superiors uh, palsy, for example, SO and SR palsy, patient will come with opposite head tilt. That is you have to remember for compensation head tilt in a simple manner. This finding, what is it? This is OCT, this is last layer RP, it is intraretinal edema, cystoid macular edema. Uh, cystoid macular edema is due to inner barrier break. Can be seen in diabetic retinopathy, central retinal BR, BRVO, branchial vein occlusion, inflammation, uveitis, and drugs. Drugs, for example, uh, niacin, adrenaline, 
prostaglandin spilocarpin so niacin is correct diabetic macroedema brvo but best disease does not cause cystoid macroedema that's the answer to the question and what is what is the important point on angiography uh, mostly the uh, edema it uh, exudates and edema go in the handless layers outer plexiform layer which has the radial configuration that's why you get a flower petal appearance on angiography in cystoid macroedema in late stages all the findings can be seen in the figure uh, iris coloboma what is aridosis there is atrophy of the iris you can see over here polychoria the normal pupil is displaced from the center correct uh, polychoria is multiple pupils sorry the multiple pupil uh, pupil correct opia is normal pupil is displaced from the center so of course iris coloboma is the answer what is iris coloboma there is a defect of the iris tissue because of failure of closure of embryonic fissure which usually occurs at 36 days A patient of Marfan and hepatitis had subluxation of lens with positive cyanide test. See, Marfan and hepatitis, of course, seen in Marfan syndrome, but homocystinuria can also have Marfan and hepatitis. And homocystinuria, there is a positive cyanide uh, nitroprusic test in the urine. That is, and uh, the inferior nasal subluxation is there in uh, homocystinuria. So subluxation is uh, displacement of the red, uh, of the lens from the patellar fossa. Mass is very good. I have told you. Uh, you can remember by mass marfans and aridia trauma marfans as supra temporal subluxation homocystinuria that is the answer positive uh, sodium nitroprusside test has inferior nasal subluxation lenses inferior and nasal okay associated ocular feature of the child with this feature what is you can see this little picture what are these lines these are desmond membrane uh, stri horizontal h for horizontal h for hab stria seen in congenital glaucoma in which the anterior chamber is deep not shallow that's the answer there is of course increased corneal diameter intraocular pressure is high flat lens is there so uh, what is that known as boob thalamus there is boob thalamus increased corneal diameter horizontal stria flat lens deep anterior chamber that's the answer uh, weak zone nules and of course intraocular pressure is high that's why there is glaucoma in ophthalmology resident with dark rose of pupil in dark light and near if he sees a reaction like this so see one by one in dark of course the people dilates so both peoples are normal uh, dilating but in light the people should constrict so left is constricting but the right is not constricting okay so there is a problem with parasympathetic because parasympathetic uh, in light constricts and with near both peoples are constricting so what is it this is the problem of light near dissociation in which the uh, with near the pup uh, light uh, pupil constricts but with light the pupil does not constrict argal robustful pupil and home zd both are example of light near dissociation how to differentiate see the pupils the pupils are meiotic in argal robustful and in home zd the pupil is dilated there is a problem of ciliary ganglion that's why the pupil is dilated and that's the answer to the question in argal robustful that is also light near dissociation arp accommodation is present but there the pupil is myotic that's a factual thing but home zd there is a problem of ciliary ganglion so people will be dilated accommodation fibers are spared that's why the neural reflex is normal even in home zd pupil all right for what distance 624 patient can see 624 letter is a very very simple question uh, sometimes i ask a very simple question okay 624 patient can see 624 letter from 6 meter only now that's why the uh, name is 6 by 24 6 is the distance and 24 is a letter from which the patient can see okay so no uh, just some simple question they can ask uh, just to confuse you so 6 by 6 means the patient is seeing from 6 meter 6 by 6 letter 6 by 60 means the patient from 6 meter can see uh 6 by 60 letter 624 means a patient from 624 6 normal patient uh, uh, the patient can see the 624 from of course 6 meters that is the uh, answer 624 a normal person if the question if a normal person can see 624 from 24 meters that is a separate thing here the question is the patient patient is seeing the 624 a uh, patient is seeing the 624 patient see 624 of course from 6 meters okay so 24 is not the answer normal person can see 624 from 24 meters okay i hope you are not written 24 meters as answer this is a very simple question okay